Welcome to Ucanic. Today here in Ucanic we have a vehicle here and we're going to check if it has spark. Uh, a few ways that you can check if you have spark is what we've got here. So we're checking if we have spark because say the engine won't start and you are trying to find out if you got spark. After you find out if you have spark then maybe you want to check the compression because you need to have um, uh, an amount of compression to be within spec to also and spark you also need fuel to be able to have, those are the three key things that you need for your engine to be able to start and run um, so we're going to start with talking about checking the spark out so to, we need to check the spark by removing one of these coils and pulling it out and then that way we can put an inline um, spark connector or or a tool to be able to check the spark for this, uh, this coil is held in with a bolt here, so we'll remove that size 10 millimeter bolt on this particular model, and then unhook this connector. We need to unhook this connector just so that we have the space in between to be able to pull this up and out. So we now have removed this um, coil out, and so there are, there used to be the old method or what you used to do back in the day, and you can still do that. Just you have a potential for um, causing some more bodily harm by if you get shot by the, the spark itself, right? So a lot of times what we used to do is you would put your spark plug inside your coil, lay it down here, and then uh, make sure that you have this grounded to some type of metal, and then uh, crank the spark and have a helper out here to check that spark. Well now we have uh, better tools that we can use that we don't need to expose ourselves to the sparking as as much or be that dangerous. So this is just an inline um, spark tester. And so we put this down in on the spark plug and we connect this up to the top and put this in line here. Now with these deep um, holes for the uh, spark plug. It can be a little bit more cumbersome trying to get those to, to hook on to the top of that spark plug. All right, got that attached on the top of the spark plug there, took a little bit, and now we have that. Now you'll see we don't have as much um, space here to be able to connect this. You can either potentially undo some of this cover here and get more out of that wire, or we'll just disconnect this one from cylinder number four and hook it up here because we're just checking for spark in the, uh, in the system itself. And then connect this into here. Okay. Well, we now have that all hooked up to be able to give us some uh, chance for spark. And so we're going to look right here, and you would have a helper cranked over the engine, unless you have a uh, relay switch that you've hooked in to, to be able to check it. But most of the time, you just have a helper crank the engine a few revolutions, and you'll look in here for some spark or for a, a glow to start up there. So we cranked the engine around a few revolutions and we did happen to see a glow. So we know that we have spark. And so now um, we know that there is spark. So we may do some more testing of whether we have compression on this vehicle to see if that's the reason that it's not starting. After we check for compression, then you would maybe go through the uh, your next one would be to check that you have uh, fuel system delivery. Thanks for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.